Greetings After Effects buddies, let's take a look at how to make the moon orbit the earth without gravity, with After Effects instead. Okay, so here's the little animation I've done. There we go, here's the moon flying around the earth, little glow there, goes around the back, comes around. The nice thing about this is it's a constant loop, so it will just keep going forever. It's a 10 second animation, but it will just play and play and play, so I could use this as a video loop, which is nice. All right, so stop that. I'm gonna just reset my workspace. Okay, uh, reset, there we go. And uh, just uh, change my resolution down a little bit, and let's start afresh. Okay, so I'll start with a new composition, and let's call this uh, Orbit 2. Okay, here we go. 10 seconds long, I'm going to go with 19, 20, 10, 80, 25. You can do what you want. Okay, here we go. So let's start with this Earth map. Okay, so I found this on Google. You can find these very easily. Okay, lots of images on Google you can use for this type of stuff. And let's go to um, make it the right size as the, for the comp. So let's go to Layer, Transform, Fit to Comp. There we go. Now, if I put my sphere effect on this, CC Sphere... It's not going to behave as I want it to. The Earth's very small. Okay, so and if I take the radius up, we can see it's not fully round. It's a little bit squashed. Okay, so I'll take the effect off. The reason is because we've scaled this image down to fit the comp, but not evenly. Okay, there's a slight difference, 48 and 54%, which is making the effect behaves in a weird way. It's making it squashed, making it smaller. So the good old friend to fix many troubles is pre-composing. So let's pre-compose the layer. I'll call it Earth. Move everything into the new composition. Hit OK. And now when I put the effect on this, hey presto, we've got a nice sized Earth. OK. And I want to make this rotate. And rather than use keyframes, I'm going to use a very simple expression. I'll go to Rotation. I'll alt click on the Y rotation. This is the rotation for the effect, not for the layer. And I'll type in time times 36. Why 36? Well, it's a 10 second comp. So by the end of 10 seconds, it will have done 360. Okay, because it's rotating 36 degrees every second. So it means that it'll play in a continuous loop. So if I use to, um, a video loop to play this, it will just continue at, th at 10 seconds. It will get to 360 and it'll just carry on. Okay. There we go. So next I'm going to add the moon. Okay. So let's take in our lunar surface again, just a Google image again, really big. Let's fit to comp. Let's pre-compose. Let's call it the moon. Okie dokie. We've got the moon. And let's make it into a sphere. I'll make this one a little smaller this time. Okay, no science involved here. Just a bit of guesswork. And I want to make this also rotate. I'm going to, on the Y rotation, I'll make it go the other way. Time... Oops, bad, bad typist, times minus 36. Same speed, other direction. Whee. <clears throat> now I want to make it orbit around the Earth. So I'm going to move the moon over to the side. There we go. Uh, oops, and if I, as I'm moving it, if I hold down the shift key, I'll keep it still in the middle. Keep it, say about there. Okay, and now on this, I'm going to add a new null object. Okay, I might rename this just so we know what it is. Orbit null. All right. So I'm now going to parent the moon to the null. I'm going to hit rotation on the null. Hit the R key. And I'm going to alt click. And I'm going to put time times 36. And then what we should get is the moon. Oh, what a fool. 
I've not made it 3D. So let's make all these 3D. Now, I do the alt click. It's the Y rotation I want, time, times 36. This is what we want. Now the moon's rotating, but obviously we've got a slight problem in that it's kind of a, a fake 3D effect. So as it goes round, we're seeing it go flat. And as we all know, neither the Earth nor the Moon are flat. Okay, so let's go and fix this. Let's create a new camera. I'll just use a 50mm preset. I'll have some depth of field on that. In fact, quite a nice bit of depth of field. I'll take the aperture up a little more. Hit OK. And then on this moon layer, I'm going to go to layer transform auto orient and choose orient towards camera so now okay it's gonna always face the camera so now we faked the 3d effect there we go and if I wanted to, I could add some little motion blur to this as well. But I'll take that off just for now because it slows down the rendering a little. Now also on my moon, I thought, well, let's just uh, have a bit of fun and add a little logo. So I just got the old, uh, where are we? This one, Wayland Yutani. There we go, and let's just go to my align window. Let's center that up. I'm going to scale that up a little bit. I'm going to make it multiply. I think that or color burn. Uh, multi multiply. I think works better. Multiply. Oops, wrong one. Multiply. There we go. Right back to normal. Duplicate that, Command D, position that over there, I've got a couple of those. And let's also just go to layer, layer styles, let's bevel and emboss that, just make them stand out a little. Okay, so now we've got a logo on the moon. Okay, so... right <clears throat> so now what we need to do is on this one i added some stars and also on the moon uh, let's just go to here on the uh, rotation here i just oriented the z just maybe just three just so it's not quite a straight line just so it's on a slight tilt make it a little more interesting Again, no science. So let's now go to layer, new solid. I'm going to choose a, a white solid. Okay. And I'll call this, um, there we go. Okay. I'm going to call this stars. Boop, boop, boop. Drop that to the back. And I'm going to find the effect. Okay. Starburst. Okay, now we've got a crazy amount of stars. No problem. Let's scatter this. Ooh, big scatter. Make these smaller. Just want a little, that's looking better. Maybe change the grid spacing a little. Okay. And take the speed to zero. Now, I've got now a static star field. But what I just did on these was I added a couple of keyframes for the scatter just to give them the tiniest amount of movement. So I did a keyframe here, scatter, and then on the end of the comp, okay, hit U to see my keyframes, copy this keyframe, copy and paste. So we've got this. And then at five seconds, I just changed the scatter by the tiniest amount. So I'll say five, nine, four, two, five, nine, 
six. Okay, so it's just adding a tiny bit of movement to the stars. It's almost imperceptible, just gives it a little bit of life. And again, on these, I made this keyframe, I easy eased this. On this one, I easy eased out. And on this one, I easy eased in. Okay, it's just got the tiniest bit of movement in the stars there. Now for the old favourite, the lens flare. So I'll do a new adjustment layer. Okay, I'm going to have that just on top of these stars. I'm going to type in lens flare. And put this on. And it won't quite behave as we want to. Okay, so I'll put my centre over here. And there's no flare. Okay, and that's because this star field here is actually a transparency. So if I go to layer new solid, I'll call this space, make it black. Okay, stick this on the bottom. There's our lens flare. Okay, so let's change the flare type. Let's try that. Move it over here a little bit. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So the final thing I did, just to kind of sell it a little more, was as the moon passes kind of in front of this flare, which kind of suggests it's maybe the sun there. Okay, I took the glow effect glow drop that on the moon okay and i changed a few settings here so the first thing i did was the colors i changed from original colors to a b colors and i made the colors all white took the threshold down and i want it to be on the alpha channel so it's just on the outside Oop. and then um i composite the original on top Increase the glow radius, so something like that. Okay, that's fine. Glow into, don't want too much. Something like that. So I'm going to add some keyframes here. So that's good. So I'm going to keyframe the glow radius and intensity. Hit the U key, we can see those. I'll copy those. I'll paste them uh, just maybe about there. And then as it goes around the back, okay, by here, I'll have taken those back down to zero, zero and zero. Okay, there we go. And here again, just about here, I'll have these at zero and zero. So that as it sort of starts coming round, it picks up some glow. From the sun, which then kind of fades away as it passes around the back. Uh, and there we've got a nice loop. Okay, 10 seconds long, it'll play forever. And it'll look like it just keeps going. Oh, there we go. And hey, presto. Okay, so um, nice little animation there. Hope you had fun with After Effects and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.